Hi everyone, so welcome to the maths department at Tring School. Um, my name is Mr Woodwards and I'm a maths teacher here, so I'm going to talk you through a little bit about what maths in year seven and moving forward looks like. So in terms of what we will study in year seven, we will look at a number of topics that you will have covered already at primary school. So there'll be lots of things that look really familiar um, and then some new bits added on too. So the reason we go back and look at some of the things you did at primary school is to make sure that you have a really deep understanding. And one thing we're really focused on at Tring is if you have a method for multiplication, for example, we want that method to get you the right answer every single time. We want you to be able to explain your answer, to talk about why the method you use works. If you are able to do that, then we believe that you will have a really, really deep understanding and that you remember that topic and how to do it forever. Um, so even if you've seen the topic before, we will also look at that topic uh, using questions in a style that you haven't seen. So that's where your problem solving comes in and your reasoning. And all of those skills are really, really important when you do your GCSEs uh, at the end of year 11. So just continuing on with that, we have a mastery scheme of learning. And that means that what we try to do is develop a really strong understanding um, that is deep. And this involves not moving on to new topics too quickly, okay? So we really want every student to understand every maths topic that we cover to the fullest. Um, we also use uh, assessments in year seven and eight that are actual GCSE questions. Uh, and the reason we do this is because maths isn't like lots of other subjects. In maths, in your maths GCSE, you will answer questions on topics that you have done at primary school. And so actually, we believe that even in year seven, you're able to have a go at real GCSE questions on topics that you've covered at primary school and in year seven. So that's a really big way for us to uh, just just gauge your GCSE understanding right from day one with us. And it's nothing to worry about. We will never give you questions um, on topics that you haven't done before in an assessment, but it's just a really good way of being able to experience what GCSE questions are like right from day one. We have a five-year scheme of learning to maximise your success in maths. So we track uh, right the way through from what you've done at primary school to really provide a challenging uh, curriculum for you to study with lots of recap of previous topics in different contexts but also lots of really uh, brand new, exciting topics for you to learn, obviously. And um, just having a, a little look here then at uh, what we tend to cover in year seven and eight. So you can see at the top here, we do have a refresher on uh, multiplication, division and so on with integers and with algebra. We look at decimals. We then spend a big chunk of time really solidifying your understanding of uh, negative numbers. Uh, and we talk about how to remember and use negative numbers in ways that means we don't forget those rules. We then spend a big chunk of time looking at algebra, and then we link, when we move on to fractions, we link the algebra in. So right from year seven, you're going to learn about algebraic fractions. And I love algebra and I love fractions, so imagine how much I love algebraic fractions. But normally that's something you'd look at much later on, but we believe if you really understand algebra and you really understand fractions in year seven, that there's no problem with us having a look at combining those two things. You can see we will look at angles and statistics and we'll look at vens and, and primes and so on. So you can see there what the journey is in year seven and year eight. And like I say, hidden behind each of these, there's lots of brilliant problems that really stretch our understanding in, in different ways. Another key thing for us 
at Tring School is encouraging students to speak mathematically. So again, I have mentioned that we will revisit and review uh, topics, but what we ask you to do at Tring School is we ask you to be able to explain your answers so that it really demonstrates your understanding. As I put here, we feel it's pointless to be able to do maths without being able to explain it because it doesn't help you to have that topic stuck in your head forever. And that's what we want to achieve. And um, mathematical language and definitions are really, really important to us. And just to finish up, I want to talk about a couple of things that we uh, really like to encourage at Tring School. So there's three main things. Mistakes. We love mistakes. Mistakes are how we learn. We're more interested if your book contains lots of incorrect working that you've later corrected than if there's no mistakes at all. So we really encourage students to have a go, be resilient, make mistakes, ask a question, learn from your mistakes. That will really, really help you make the best progress if you're prepared and open to, to get stuck on a question and, and plow on through it. It's also really important that you take ownership of your learning. If something doesn't make sense, ask in the, quest, uh, in the lesson. Speak to your teacher at the end of the lesson. Research that topic at home. We've also got a really great math super curriculum of activities that you can complete outside of school to really uh, boost your understanding of maths, both at school and in the real world as well. This last one's really, really important to all of the math teachers at Tring School, and that's about believing that you can learn every topic and be good at maths if you're prepared to put in the effort. We believe, and I believe doing this video now, that every student that joins us can, can do really brilliantly in maths and make great progress, so long as you're prepared to put in the effort. And finally, never give up. If you're stuck on a maths question and it's going horribly wrong, keep going. You can get there in the end. I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible when you start Tring School next year. Thank you for listening.